minutes, we have new details about the plane crash this morning, and we're going to have those shocking discoveries in the home of the co-pilot as well. It is breaking at this hour, Robin. German prosecutors now revealing that they have found evidence of ongoing illness, prescription medicine, and some torn up sick notes. We have full team coverage this morning, starting with our chief foreign correspondent, Terry Moran, in the hometown of the man responsible for that terrible tragedy. Terry, good morning. Good morning, David. Here on the street where he lived and around the world, these revelations today about Andreas Lubitz have people shocked, even outraged. First, German media reporting that he suffered from mental illness, depression, severe enough so that six years ago he had to take a month's long break from his pilot training. And now, what prosecutors found in his apartment. This morning, prosecutors in Dusseldorf revealing that a search of Andreas Lubitz's apartment led to the discovery of medical documents that indicate an existing illness and ongoing medical treatment. Torn up sick notes and prescriptions were among the items found, suggesting the co-pilot was hiding details of his illness from his employer. This new development helping to paint a picture of the 27-year-old investigators say deliberately brought down German Wings Flight 9525. He was an avid runner. Andreas Lubitz competed in half marathons, seemingly the picture of health, but he was hiding a secret. Born in Germany, most of his time was spent in his hometown of Montebauer with his parents. At the family home, police lowering the shutters, investigators carrying out bags of evidence and escorting someone past the cameras to a waiting car. The flag at the high school Lubitz attended flying at half staff as the residents of Montebauer remain in shock. He's not the type of guy who would try and kill other people. Absolutely not, this man says. But Lubitz was still a relatively inexperienced pilot with just 630 hours of flight experience, only 100 of them on the Airbus 320. Before becoming a pilot in 2013, Lubitz worked as a flight attendant. He started his Lufthansa training in 2008. Part of it took place at this flight center near Phoenix. An instructor there telling ABC News, Lubitz appeared normal. And the CEO for the airline claims Lubitz passed mental health screening tests and, quote, was 100 percent fit to fly. But for the 149 others who flew with Lubitz, all those innocents lost in this tragedy, that was clearly not true. Some family members of victims are already expressing anger, and clearly all these revelations raise some serious questions for Lufthansa. Robin? Okay, Terry, thank you.